This is a bit of a walk around of my finished build. Um, so I got the car about two years ago. It was pretty much stock standard, except for the fact that it did have this ECB bull bar on the front. Um, so up front, I added a set of Heller spotlights, just a pretty set of standard halogens, uh, which match the output out of the standard headlights. Underneath, I've got a set of load rated toe points. Um, moving inside, um, got a set of Melville Moon seat covers up front, and then a set of black duck on the back, which just keeps things nice and neat. Um, over here I've added some switches, so one is for the water pump in the back, you just turn it on once and then everything else is um, off a of pressure switch at the back, so you only need to turn it on and off. Rear lights out the back of the roof rack and then side lights out the side of the awning um, and then spotlights for turning on and off the spots if you want to isolate them from the normal high lows. And then a red arc tow pro. Uh, this is quite a trick, this is a little uh, Bushman fridge which A, raise the height of the um, armrest because the standard one's quite low as well as it's quite a nice size fridge in there. Um, in here I've got a permanently mounted uh, quad lock phone charger. Um, i got a switch to turn on the uh, uh, little oven in the back. UHF radio for this. Um, and then a compressor which I've got on the back. Um, and then that's also for pressure switch. So once it's on, you can turn it on and then it'll just turn itself on and off. Down there's um, a tire pressure monitoring system. There are units inside the tires. Um, so it does tire pressure and um, tire temps. Um, this is quite trick. It just, um, you can pull it out over there. So on your normal day-to-day -day drive, it looks a little bit neater. So you're not looking at this the whole time. In the back there is a 40 litre burb tank, which is all just plumbed right the way through the back. So there's an outlet at the back where your fridge and your kitchen would normally be. Uh, up at the top is a front runner um, a roof rack, just pretty, um, an old style one. Um, so I mounted a shovel max tracks and then uh, an antenna and a um, decent sized bat wing awning. Up at the back, I've got um, lights mounted up here. So there's one cable that comes into here, which is all remotely controlled with those switches there, with these lamps up there, and then these lights at the back there. Um, so it just makes it look pretty neat. So I've run the wire down there. I just need to stick that on a bit in there. And then it comes just out over there. Um, in the back, I've got these camp cover, uh, rear door bags they're pretty useful i've just got light things in there you obviously don't want to put too much weight on right out here when your hinges weigh in there so it's just got light things in there at the moment um in the drawers uh recovery gear spare uh fan belts and uh hose at the back tools and then this one's empty for uh, groceries um down the side here i've got alb compressor um which is then plumbed into that and then the outlet is just down there. Um, pretty small little fire extinguisher, medical aid bag. Up at the top, I've got a, a, a cargo holder thing at the top here, all off aluminium tie down points. And these go into the third row um, hand held up at the top in the roof there. So that was pretty easy to mount. Um, here is where the water uh, tap goes in. Let's see if I can find it. Um, anyway, here's how the water tap goes in. It just goes in like that. And you've got water on and off. Um, I don't have water in the front tank at the moment. Um, but that's all pressure controlled. So you just leave the switch on in the front there. Um, but I have fridge slide that holds a um, National Luna 60 litre fridge freezer. Um, little travel buddy oven there. That's quite nice to warm up pies and croissants and then um, lithium battery in there. Um, then I was trying to work out how to run all my electronics. So what I did is I made a power distribution board behind the third row of seats, so between the drawers and the seats. I went run one thick cable through the back here. This runs off compressors, 
uh, Type Pros, lithium DC DC chargers. Um, everything runs off those big switches over uh, fuses over there. Then over there, I've got two fuse boxes: one for off the car's 12 volt, and then the other one off the lithium. So depending which one you want to run off. So that just keeps everything pretty nice, neat, and tidy. And then it's all out of sight when you don't want to see it. Um, so yeah.